only way to get rid of Planned Parenthood money for uh, selling off baby parts is to shut the government down in September. Would you support that? Well, I, I can tell you this. I would, and I, I was also in support. If the Republicans stuck together, you could have done it with Obamacare also, but the Republicans decided not to stick together. Presidential candidate Donald Trump talking with Salem Radio nationally syndicated host Hugh Hewitt. You heard Trump say he supports efforts to shut down the government in order to defund Planned Parenthood. Of course, this as the Senate failed to pass legislation yesterday to defund the controversial organization. Now today, a startling fifth video has emerged of Planned Parenthood officials appearing to catalog intact fetuses. For more on this story, we welcome back Newsmax TV political analyst Dick Morris in, uh, at Newsmax Washington. And joining us via Skype from Connecticut, health policy expert Betsy McCoy. Dick, first to you. How could the Senate uh, really avoid the vote on defunding Planned Parenthood? Yesterday was a vote not to take a full vote, correct? Yeah. Well, uh, they can avoid anything they want. Uh, the Democrats are scared to death of this issue. Uh, you have a variety of organizations that are masquerading under a pretense of birth control uh, and that are really doing abortions. And now you have a bunch of organizations masquerading as abortionists that are really doing sales of baby parts. And it's just the process of dehumanization and commoditization of a human being just continues and grows. And uh, I think that it's absolutely revolting, and I think it's indicative of the, the extent to which the Democrats are absolute slaves to these interest groups, uh, that, that they would go ahead and sanction this. But I want to know, what is your reaction to this newest video, and do you think the Senate missed an opportunity here? Well, certainly this latest video is just one more example of the extremist position that the Democratic Party is now occupying. Whether you're pro-life or pro-choice, and there are reasonable people on both sides of that issue, no reasonable person would listen to these videos, absorb the information that this organization is selling the, the body parts of pre-born infants, and go along with it. This has nothing to do with a woman's right to choose. This is barbarism. This is butchery. Dick, there is a political equation at work here, so we need to ask you, how might this affect races for the Senate and Congress in 2016? Well, uh, the extremes of this issue ultimately pollute the moderate views on the issue and ultimately define them. The best example was how the Republicans paid dearly for the comments of two of their Senate candidates that when a woman is raped and becomes pregnant as a result, it's God's will uh, or that she shouldn't be able to have an abortion. And that's an extremist position only a few hold, but it ended up characterizing the whole pro-life movement. I think the body part issue on Planned Parenthood will be the reciprocal mirror image of that and will end up characterizing the whole pro-choice movement. This could become a new form of human agriculture where you well, grow and, and fetuses also, in order to kill them and sell the body parts. I mean, this could be human agriculture if we let it go. And I think that uh, when people begin to contemplate where this could lead to, I think they're going to have a fit. And I think it will characterize even the moderate pro-choice people in a bad light. Betsy, I, I know you're dying to talk. How might this impact, in your opinion, women voters in the 2016 presidential election? Oh, it's definitely going to impact them when they see Democratic uh, office holders, especially women, saying that a baby isn't a baby until it's taken home, until he or she is taken home from the hospital. We have to ensure that our language keeps up with the science and not let the Democrats get away with calling these fetuses. These are pre-born infants, and that's what they should be called. Many of them are viable, and to call them fetuses or anything else rather than a pre-born infant, it just masks what we now scientifically know. These infants are viable at a much earlier age than we knew when Roe v. Wade was decided three, four, almost four decades ago. Dick, at the outset well, of and this... Well, there's another oh, basic point here, uh, J.D. When 
we were talking about stem cell research. We were talking about discarded embryos, you know, uh, the, the, the uh, uh, embryos that were not fully developed yet. Uh, here you're talking about real fetuses. You're talking about a real live baby that is just not born yet. And you're talking about harvesting it for human parts. I mean, this is, is just beyond any science fiction story. And that's why we can't let away get allow the Democrats to get away with calling them fetuses. They're pre-born babies. And uh, we also know that uh, what happens politically has to do with the definition of terms and the emotional connection it makes. Now, at the outset of the segment, Dick, we heard Donald Trump saying that he would have been fine shutting down the government to defund Planned Parenthood. You know how campaigns can work, and you know the agenda of the dominant media culture. Will there be a backlash to uh, Trump's observation there? 45 seconds. Not if it's a focused effort. Um, when it becomes a broad brush thing like repeal Obamacare, you know, or something that, that is a major, major public policy, that's one thing. But when it's a specific thing aimed at this issue, you can't cover the issue without explaining what parent, Planned Parenthood is doing. And in the course of explaining that, you end up losing support. I remember Jesse Helms used to rail against federal funding for Robert Maplethorpe, a photographer who had horrible scenes of the Virgin and urine and stuff like that. And Helms lost the debate because the newspapers and the networks wouldn't put on the air the pictures that he was drawing that taxpayers were paying for. But here it has to get out, and it has to become central in the debate. Dick Morris and Betsy McCoy, you have our thanks. We'll be right back.